Now, whatever is natural for you, to keep your eyes open or close, or alternatively, what feels natural for you. Simply pay attention to the natural, unbound field of silence, uncreated silence, nothing to do, nothing to change. Nothing to become. The senses are naturally functioning, nothing to control. Awareness of sense perception does not trouble you. If there is any movement of thought, don't become entangled in that. Stay as the awareness itself. You don't have to go anywhere or make any effort to be the awareness, because it is everywhere present. And sometimes, you may feel a sense of sleepiness. Simply notice this, but don't be pulled into sleep. Awareness is, is not sleep. You may notice that mind wants to do something, to bring some activity. You can nicely ignore that. There's nothing to do. We are not even going to call this meditation or anything, no name. Simply, you are here, effortlessly here. We are not going someplace. We are not trying to reach anywhere. So, there is no next. without waiting. There is neither patience nor impatience, pure, formless being. Notice 
that the pure formless awareness cannot itself be distracted. It is beyond being attractive or attracted or distracted. Therefore, don't combine yourself with any quality or anything you perceive. This is natural state. So even though speaking is taking place, it makes no difference to the awareness. Whatever appears, disappears. Even identity. You are none of this in the highest sense. Whatever sensation may come, let it come. There is nothing to hold. There is nothing to improve. Simply stay empty. Don't try to be empty. You are already empty. Notice you are not the mind, not thoughts, not sensation. All you perceive without becoming anything at all. Awareness is not competing with mind. Mind is merely a movement appearing in the immensity of the awareness self. Do not be distracted by forms or thought or the senses. They are functioning within their own realm. You are not a person doing something. Now, these are only ideas. If there appears some tension, notice that awareness is not tense. Only body might feel. Notice the neutralness, immeasurable. It is not an object. This neutrality and yourself are the same.
notice again that even if a feeling of tiredness and sleepiness is felt, you are simply noticing them. It is not a description or a definition of the awareness itself. There is nothing to control. There is nothing to imagine or create. Just is. Very often, mind is uh, dancing in the isness, and attention and identity goes to that. And we have the sense that we are distracted and we are caught up. But dancing in the self, shuffling in the self, tsunami in the self is just that, just an appearance, a movement. The self is not moving, it is not dead also. No words to describe. Out of habit, when your attention is not engaged with mind activity, you may feel this tendency to sleep. Be aware of this. Awareness is not sleep. Awareness, self, is not pause. It is not stop, it is not start. All these are movements in the body-mind. Trying to be awareness is not awareness. It is trying to be awareness arising in awareness. You are neither doing nor not doing. Empty. It sometimes can feel like there is an effort to be like this, but that is only a thought. It is not true. There is no effort to be. There is no special way to be. You are. It is not a personal Compliment. As awareness, you are not the one the mind is talking to. Before all this, you are.
during the play of the changeful, you remain the unchanging. And there is no effort. The idea that activity takes you away from awareness is to be discarded. It is not true. If it says it takes you away, it means it brings you back into personal identity. That is all. Still, awareness is untouched. Mind might say, what is the point of sitting doing nothing? I say, what is the point of all this chattering when you have the joy of simply being yourself? Neither doing activities or not doing does not affect awareness self. Notice this. If some agitation is felt, observe that it is the mind, is coming from the mind that is not used to being ignored. Give it no importance. Noticing the senses, you are not the senses. Noticing thought activity, you are not thought activity. Noticing the play of time, you are not time. Noticing the changeful, you are not the changeful. Noticing the forms, you are not the forms. Noticing the mind, you are not the mind. Noticing the sound of rain, you are not the rain. Noticing temperature, you are not temperature. Noticing tiredness, you are not tiredness. Noticing the breath, you are not the breath. Noticing, noticing, you are not the noticing. Noticing resistance, you are not resistance. Noticing the world, you are not the world. All 
or these appear and disappear in the infinite expanse of pure consciousness. You are the awareness within which life is expressed. The life force is noticed. You are the source of joy and peace, uninterrupted peace. You are the silence within silence. You are the nameless one. Before the arising or the appearing of the first concept, you are already here. You notice. There is nothing to imagine. As long as the sense of yourself personally keeps arising and is believed in, mind in its psychological play will continue. You are the emptiness experiencing itself beyond duality. You are naturally self-aware. You are the natural before the concept of naturalness. You are without design. But the instrument for perceiving and experiencing the body is design, is activity, breath activity perception, activity, and all these are naturally playing in the immensity of the stillness of pure awareness. Now I want to read you a few words from the Ashtavakra Gita. These words come from the very essence of yourself. Simply allow the listening to them. Stay as you are. With the pincers of truth, I have plucked from the dark corners of my heart the thorn of many judgments. I sit inside my own splendour. Wealth or pleasure, duty or discrimination, duality or non-duality, What do they mean to me? What is yesterday, or tomorrow, or today? What is space, or eternity? I sit inside my own radiance. What is the self or the not self? What is thinking or not thinking? What is good or evil? I sit inside my own splendour. 
I sit in my own radiance and I have no fear. This are your true the voice of the self. Waking, dreaming, sleeping, what are they to me? Or even ecstasy? What is far or near, outside or inside, gross or subtle? I sit inside my own splendour. Dissolving the mind, or the highest meditation, the world and all its works, life or death, what are they to me? I sit inside my own radiance. Why talk of wisdom, the three ends of life, or even oneness? Why talk of these? Now I live inside my heart. Lord Shiva, sends these words to speak on behalf of every awakening being. When we have accepted the identity of personhood, mind will tell you, work more, study more, Look harder, try more. You are almost there. Oh, you are never going to get there. One day you will find the Self, but not today. But you are the Self, never mind. The mind. There is nothing to fix or to change. You are already the Self. For a long time, dreaming, you are separate from the Self. Now you rest inside your own splendour. Sit inside your own radiance, your own silence, your own peace, knowing there is neither end nor beginning for you. There is nothing, 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 nothing apart from the Supreme Self. There is no room for something apart from the Supreme Self. Those who are here, those who have passed, and those who are yet to be born, are nothing but the Supreme Self.
know this and be happy. You are not lost. You are not forgotten. You are not abandoned. You are the Supreme Consciousness Self. You have no choice. Just a dream choice. In a few moments, you will hear the sound of the bell. It will make no difference to your inner state. If you wish to remain sitting, you may do so. If you wish to leave, you may do so. There is no need to get up because I am leaving. Simply stay as you are.